let's take a look at, don't laugh, let's look at Turkish Lira. So, currency crisis indeed, it has been one, I would argue, for a really long time. Um, if I go to a weekly chart here, you'll see the full channel, right? So, the dark lines, um, that, or the solid lines, I should say, those are the same degree. So, you know, exactly, it's a channel, right? Um, and we really close to the top of that channel. It's weird, actually, if I look at it on different charting platforms, or different, not platforms, but different feeds, we've actually hit this level on some of them, and some we haven't. Maybe that might just be the, you know, result of, of FX not being a, uh, a centralized market. So you might have different prices at spike highs and lows um, on something like Turkish Lira. But if you look at the dash line, that is drawn off the daily closes, all right? So right here, it's drawn off the daily closes. You can see here if I do that. So here's that daily close back in 09. Here's that daily close here in uh, August 2018. And we're pretty much right there, right? So again, always make your own decisions and you know go in at your own your own risk, um, but man, this looks interesting, doesn't it? I don't know. Not here to do really stupid stuff, but uh, maybe shorting this is the dumbest thing in the world, which means it might actually work. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw, throw that out there. Turkish Lira. I don't know. It's, it, it, what's one of the, you know, one of the things they say in trading or markets all the time, right? Like sell the news. Well, the news just came out, right? We had the uh, Turkey uh, had a central bank meeting today where they cut by 100 points, and apparently there's more on the way. Um, again, this is based strictly on a chart observation. However, sell the news, I think, would apply here or be appropriate after we traded into this huge level on bad news, right? That's the idea of sell the news. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, 